Hey guys, welcome to the latest edition of Bennett Place History from Home. Now we're going to talk about what you'll see when you come out here to Bennett Place. Uh, behind me stands the centerpiece of the Bennett Farm. Historically, this farm would have been about 189 acres. Today, we currently have about 30 acres. Uh, but what we have behind me is the centerpiece, the center of the Bennett Farm. Uh, now, we have a, the four structures behind me. The largest one you'll see, uh, we were just inside on the last episode in the parlor, and that's going to be the main house. That consists of a parlor, two back bedrooms, and a loft bedroom upstairs. Uh, the second building, the second uh, largest one, is going to be the kitchen house. And as that name kind of gives it away, that's the kitchen. It's also the dining room, and it was a multi-purpose room for the Bennetts. They would have done a lot of different activities, day-to-day -day activities. Now, that uh, is actually where the Bennetts would have excused themselves during the time in the negotiations when Johnson and Sherman and later his officers were inside the parlor. They would have excused themselves to the kitchen just to kind of get out of the way. The uh, third structure is going to be the smokehouse. And you'll probably see a little bit of a corner of it behind the kitchen house. Uh, that's gonna be the smokehouse, again, curing and preserving meat. Uh, and then finally, our, la our last structure is gonna be the dairy, and that's the, our newest addition. Now, the dairy, again, is, is a place to keep uh, dairy products cool and kind of preserve them for a little bit longer. Uh, but the structures behind me are positioned where they are, because on April 18th, 1865, Theodore Davis from Harper's Weekly, he's a sketch artist from the newspaper, comes with Sherman's army. Now Sherman brings uh, along press because they know they're gonna make a little bit of history. This is actually kind of unique because Sherman once called uh, reporters spies who do their work in public. Uh, but thankfully, Theodore Davis managed to come out here and give us a really, really good sketch of the Bennett farm. Uh, now, the original home burnt down in 1921. After years of neglect, uh, a fire broke out and just everything burnt except for the original chimney, which you can still again see with a plaque denoting that. The kitchen, smokehouse, and dairy all were gone by that point as well. Fast forward to the 1960s. When they discovered a house, it was called the Proctor House. It was a house in South Durham. As they were tearing down uh, these small farmhouses and widening the road on Chapel Hill Street, they discovered a near identical farmhouse. And once they realized what they had, they brought the main house and placed it up against the original chimney as you see behind me, along with the kitchen and then again the smokehouse. But for some reason, uh, it's not quite clear why, they didn't rebuild the dairy. Now in the 1960s they left that out, even though it does appear in the, uh, in the Theodore Davis sketch from 1865. But luckily for us, we've recently been able to get the funding uh, and been able to do a little bit more research and also with the support from the department, uh, we were able to actually get the dairy house rebuilt. And as you can see behind me, it's coming along quite well and should be done uh, within weeks. So next time you're out here at Bennett Place and you come out to the farm, you'll see it almost like Theodore Davis and those soldiers and the generals would have seen 155 years ago.